crap. Hi everyone, my name is Phony, and yeah, this isn't even the full extent of the whole device collection. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is, no, what I'm actually going to do is split this into two parts. I'm going to do smart devices and all that jazz first, and then I'm going to take out that box over there and do all my dumb phones. But without further ado a delay, this is the full device collection update, or my second full device collection update for 2023. Hope you all enjoy. So starting off, we have the smart devices, and one of the devices is missing. It's the Moto G Stylus 5G. That's probably because my brother is using it uh, until he gets his own main phone. But all of this, including the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus and the Nintendo Switch Lite, is 99 devices. Oh, if I had 100 of them, that'd be great. But let's start at the very top. First up, we have this Kindle Fire HD 8. Uh, I got this from my cousin in 2023, and it works perfectly. Despite it being cracked, it does work. Next up is this Nextbook Ares 8. Uh, it is encrypted. I got this from my sister back in 2021. And, uh, like I said, I'm not going to turn this thing on because, like I said, it's encrypted, and uh, I it would be on that screen for a while. Next up is this Asus Nexus 7. This phone, uh, this tablet, sorry, works perfectly. If I can get it there, there you go. I got this in an electronic recycling center back in 2018. And, yeah, this thing, like I said, was still on when I got it, and it had a password, and I, in fact, just hard reset it, and boom, it's, it, yeah. As you can see, I completely did not expect to record this video today. I expected this to record sometime in October. This is a Nextbook Aries 7, or a Nextbook 7. I got this thing back in 2016 for Christmas, and this thing still works perfectly. Ugh, next up is this Kindle Fire original. Uh, this tablet, uh, I don't think, has a battery. Either that or it doesn't detect a battery, but it works on the charger. Next up is this Kobe Kairos. Um, this thing does not work. I tried putting it on the charger and stuff, and there is literally no sound of life for this thing at all. Unless this is unless this little port right here is the charger, but I think it takes mini USB. I wouldn't know. Oh god. Next up is this. Okay, yeah. Last for the Android tablets is this LG Pad Seven. Originally in my April collection, this thing was in my. Um, area of not working tablets but it turns out i just didn't have a charger for it and yeah it works perfectly fine <laughs> despite it being cracked to oblivion ow next uh are the apple devices um uh, i have quite a few of them and well i've only gained one edition since april but let's go over them First up is this iPad first generation. It's a 16 gigabyte. I originally thought this was an iPad fourth generation. Uh, the display is shot and it does not work. Next is this iPad mini second generation. This is also a 16 gigabyte, but it is stuck on the activation screen and will not get past that. So yay, that's great. Next up, I have two iPod second generations. They're both eight gigabyte models and they work perfectly. I remember only charging one of them though. Okay, this is the one that I uh, charged, I believe. There you go. Next up is this iPod 5th generation. It does not work. I mean, it might work, uh, but the display is shattered. Uh, I got this one from Staples uh, in the Staples recycling bin or recycling cart late uh, in August. Um, I got the G-Pad from my cousin, I got the Kobe Kairos from my house, I got this back in 2018 from the Electronic Recycling Center, and I got this back in 2018 from the Electronic Recycling Center. These are three iPhone 4s, and they all don't... No, these are three iPhone 4s, and they all don't work. Yay. This one, I tried restoring via iTunes, and it did not work. This one is activation locked. And this one is water damaged. 
Next two devices, I need room. Okay. Uh, next two are these two iPhone 4s, or 4Ss. Uh, this one has a bad power button, and it has a bad battery. This iPhone 4S, oh wait, never mind, I have three iPhone 4Ss. This one um, is on iOS 8. It's an 8 gigabyte on Verizon. It works perfect. It works, however, it is iCloud locked, but it has no password. And this one, uh, no sign of life, water damaged. Next up is my iPhone 5. This is a 64 gigabyte model on Verizon, and it does work, however... Uh-oh, something turned on. Anyway, it does work, however... Uh, the power button is broken. Um, next up is this iPhone 5S. Um, this is activation locked as well. It was iCloud locked when I got it. So, yeah, I got this one from the Target bin. I got the majority of these from the Target bin. I can't remember where I got everything. This one I got from the Target bin in 2018. This is another iPhone 5S in rose gold. It's a 16 gigabyte model, and it works, but it has a passcode. <laughs> it's the end of the road for this one. This is an iPhone 8 Plus, because at the time of recording iOS 17 is out, and that means this thing is dead. <laughs> or doesn't have support anymore. So, yeah. It's on iOS 16.6.1. It is a 64 gigabyte, and it's on Metro. Next are the devices that aren't necessarily Android. Are there, are there smart devices? But, like, they're not phones. First is this Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. This thing does not work anymore. Um, this thing did not get does not get past the Retroid Pocket logo, and yeah, it displays it for a few seconds and then just shuts off. It's very unfortunate because I really loved playing around with this thing. And the other device here is my Nintendo Switch Nintendo Switch Lite that I got for a hundred bucks off of my friend uh, Sky, and it is a Timu Switch. However, it is. An American model switch because it doesn't have a Wi-Fi problem like most switches normally do from Timu. So, yeah. And we're almost to the Android smartphones, but let's go over these two. First up is a Nokia Lumia 521, I believe. I'll edit that. But yeah, this phone does work. Uh, this phone does work. However, the 521 is the one with the battery because for some reason they both take the same battery. And yeah, the 521 and the 520 works. And now it is time to go over all the smartphones here. So, or the Android smartphones. And this is what I have the most of in my collection. So yeah, let's get started. First up is the Samsung Galaxy A13. I got this from my work in the Lost and Found. And it had a passcode, but uh, I bypassed the app. I bypassed, uh, no, I hard reset it. And then I bypassed the FRP, and it works perfectly. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I got the Lumia, the two Lumias from my phone lot that I got in April. No, May. So, yeah. This is a Motorola Atrix. This phone does work. I got this from the Recycling Center back in 2018. So, yeah. Next up is this UMX U696CL. I got this also from the Lost and Found at my work, and unfortunately this thing is Google locked. I tried the TalkBack bypass, but they patched it, and yeah, no bypass works on this thing for now. Honestly, it's not too much of a loss, so yeah. Next up is this Sony Xperia XZ2. This phone works perfectly. I remember getting this from Japan. Or this is one of the phones from Japan for the... Uh, Outside of the US episode 2, and yeah, this thing works perfectly. It's on AU, and I got this in April, I think. This one I got from, uh, I can't remember. Justin. This one I got from my friend Justin. This is an Oppo A54 5G, and it is dead. I remember charging it, though, so I don't know why it's dead. <laughs> Next up are these two LG Journeys. I have two, uh, I have two of them, and I got them both in... I got one of them in 2020 and one of them in 2021. Can't remember where I got either of them, but yeah, they are fully working, and I got them both brand new. Next up is this Huawei Snap 2. It's on Consumer Cellular, and I got this phone back in 20, uh, 2019, I believe. Uh, I can't remember how much I got this for, but yeah, I definitely got this on eBay. 
Next up is this TCL LX. I got this phone from the Target bin back in 2020, and it does work. It works completely fine. Next up is this Motor G7. I got this phone from Justin as well, and uh, it it's on a custom bootloader. Uh, it's on Lineage OS 19.1, and it works fine. Next up is this Motorola Droid Razor M, and this thing I got back in the Target bin, or no, I got this in the Recycling Center back in 2018, and this phone works perfectly. Next up, I have two Galaxy Note 3s. I'm sorry if the recording quality is bad. Uh, I'm pretty tired, and I'm running on five hours of sleep. Next up are the are two Galaxy Note 3s. I got one of them from my friend Justin in the phone lot, and I got this one on eBay for 21 bucks because I was replacing the screen on another one, and they both end up working. Uh, this one is on AT&T, the one that's turning on, and this one is on Verizon. Next up, I have two Alcatel Dons. Um, this one works per- uh, no, this one is the one with the bad screen. And this one works perfectly. I plan on replacing the, sc uh, the screen from this one, or no, from this one into this one because this thing vibrates, but it does work. I'm sorry for the shitty screen quality, but yeah, that's what I got. Next up is this HTC Droid Incredible 2, and this phone does work perfectly as well. I got this one. I want to say I got this one from the Target bin back in 2018. I know I got the Alcatel Dawn from the Recycling Center. Next up is this Moto G7. I got this one from the Staples bin. It works. Somehow. But look how shot the screen is. Yeah, it works somehow, and the touchscreen does work a little bit. However, um, like you said, it is Google locked, so I can't bypass. I And I'm not going to be able to bypass it, because why is this thing on TikTok? Okay, uh, that's weird. Anyway, um... No. <sighs> Sorry about that. Next up is this Xiaomi Redmi 9T. And this thing works, but at the same time it doesn't. Because, uh... It really only works when it wants to, as I like to say. Next up is this Galaxy S4. Oh, I got that one from Japan. I got this one from, well, my last video that I got for, uh... With the $30 phone law and... This was an added bonus, and I'm an idiot for buying it because I thought it had a cool boot animation, but it doesn't. Yay. Anyway, next up is this LG G5. It's on T-Mobile, and I got the battery for this thing, and yeah, it fully works. I got this one in the phone lot that uh, I got in 2023. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm running on five hours of sleep, and I want to get this done. Next up is the Samsung Infuse. I got this one in a lot of phones uh, in 2017. I only got two or three of them, and this was one of them, and this one was the only one that fully worked. Next up is this Moto G Power 2020. I got this one from Justin, and this is factory unlocked, or carrier unlocked, I can't remember, and this fully works. Next up is this LG Optimus Fuel. I do remember getting this one from the Target bin back in 2018, and this phone also fully works. Sorry if I'm going rapid fire. Next up is this LG Rebel 2. This phone I got brand new in 2018, and also one of the worst financial one of the worst financial decisions I've ever made. Next up, I have two Motorola Droid ones. Uh, this one. I no, both of them don't work, or either that or both of them have bad batteries. So, yeah, uh, I don't want to get batteries for either of them right now. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy Stellar. This phone I got in the Target bin in 2017, and it fully works. Next up is this Galaxy Core Prime. I got this one in the phone lot that I got in May, and I got a battery for this thing, and this thing fully works. Next up is the ZTE World 2. I got this phone in the Target bin in 2018, and it full and once again it fully works. Yeah, Core Prime. Next up is this Galaxy AO2. 
This phone works perfectly fine. I got this one for my friend Kevin, uh, who lives in Mexico, and I'm very happy because uh, I really wanted this phone off of him, and like I said, I have a Mexico phone in my collection, which is pretty cool. Next up is this Huawei Ascend M860. Uh, this thing is dead. Uh, it does work, however, its its battery is so bad that it barely even holds a charge anymore. So, uh, yeah. Also, I think the Galaxy Stellar is on 1% even though I charged it, like, a few days ago. Next up is this Galaxy A11. I actually have two of them. Uh, this one has a bad display. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't clear, uh, clear in my other video when I said it was shot. The display does show stuff. However, it's all red and stuff like that for this one. However, this one works, and it's, full, it's on U.S. Cellular. And the Galaxy Stellar died. What a surprise. Next up is this LG Volt. I got this one of the phone lot, uh, or the $30 phone lot, and this was one of the phones that worked. And honestly, this is really cool. I originally thought this was an LG F70 for some reason, so yeah. Next up is this HTC Evo 4G. Uh, I got this one of the Target bin in 2017, and it fully works. Next up, I have two Galaxy A10Es, and for once, uh, my duplicates both work. This one I got from my friend Justin. Oh, I am not holding the power button. This one I got from my friend Justin. Oh, wait, no, not this one. This one I got from the, the phone lot, and this one I got from my friend Justin. That one's on track phone, and this one's factory unlocked. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, I got this one off of eBay for, like, 30 bucks with the S Pen, and it fully works uh, this is a ZTE Libero 5G. This was the first phone I got from Japan, and it fully works. I'm, this is the phone that started the whole series for, uh, outside of the U.S., actually. This is a Moto X Pure Edition. Uh, I don't have the one that was in the, you know, the color, the, um, the white color. Uh, I ended up tossing that one because that thing, I tried charging it, and, uh, yeah, it didn't smell great, so I ended up getting another one, and this one works perfectly. <laughs> it is uh, factory unlocked as well, or I believe so. This is a ZTE... Why am I blanking on the name? Um, Z Max Pro, and it is on T-Mobile, and this is another one of the phones that I got in the lot in April or May, and it fully works. Hello. Next up is an LG Optimus T. Uh, this phone does not work. I mean, it works, but the display is bad, and or it has a bad LCD, and I haven't been able to get that thing to work. Next up, I have two Samsung Galaxy S2 Epics, and this one, I believe, uh, I did get a battery for the S2 Epics, and they work, which really shocked me because... I've had this one since 2017, and I thought this one had a bad screen, but it turns out that this one works perfectly, and as well as that one too. So I ended up getting two for one. What I'm going to do actually is, um, yeah, actually, never mind. I, I was going to put the battery in this one. Actually, you know what? I'll just do that. I'm going to put the battery in this one. This one has a lot more of a history because this one came reset. So I'm just going to replace the battery with one hand because that's funny. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do that. The Galaxy Note 4 just restarted, so that's great. Yeah. This one is actually on Boost Mobile, which I forgot the S2 Epics could be on Boost Mobile. I have, yep. I have three, not one, not two, but three Galaxy S5s. This one has a bad screen and is water damaged. This one has a bad screen, but works. These two I got from the uh, from the Target bin, I believe. And this one I got from... Oh, jeez, this thing is not going well. Okay, the Note 4 for some reason is... It might be boot looping. I don't know. But this is a... This one works perfectly. I got this one from uh, eBay for like 28 bucks, Which honestly is a good deal because I now finally have a working Galaxy S5. I have two Galaxy S7s. This one does not work. I mean, it has a bad OCD, but it works fine. Uh, yeah, this... Yeah, hold on a minute. I'm gonna take the battery out of this thing. It is... 
Yeah, I think the battery uh, might be just fucked on this thing. Um, this is a, yeah, this is another Galaxy S7. I got this one. I actually got these two in a, in a lot in 2018 for like 25 bucks. This one was Google Lock, but I bypassed it. So yeah. Next up is this uh, Motorola Droid 4. It does not have the back cover, but it works. I got this one from the, the lot that I got in May. Oh, this is a Moto G Pure. I got this one for the Target bin in 2023, and it works perfectly. Uh, this thing is in really good condition, too, which is not a surprise. These phones are kind of bad. Next up is this Moto... Uh, Z not Motorola. <laughs> Sony uh, Xperia Z4V. <clears throat> this thing does work perfectly, um, despite the fact that it has a loose back cover. It doesn't hinder it in any way, so... Yeah, it does work, and I got this one from Japan. And I don't know why it's not updating, but yeah. This is an LG Rebel, despite it being the back of an LG Zone 3. This phone, uh, I could not get to work on the charger. So, I mean, Hello, I Moto. don't know. I'll get a battery for this thing eventually. This thing's gonna die. Why is this always at 5%? Anyway, um, this thing does... Uh, this thing I will possibly get a battery for. This is an LG Tribute Empire. Um, this phone... Uh, has a bad screen. It works, but like I said, it has a bad screen. I have mm, two Samsung Illusions. They both work, but this is the one with the battery. This one, like the Galaxy S2 Epic, has a lot more history because there is a bundle of old games on this thing, which is really cool. Okay, I was gonna say, is it dead? This is a Moto G6. I got this one from the Staples bin, and unfortunately is Google locked. I tried my best to bypass it, but I had zero luck. So, uh, yeah. Next up, I have two Galaxy uh, J3s, or Galaxy J3 Eclipses. This one works fine. Uh, this one works fine. For some reason, this one, and that one, I think this is dead. This one, for some reason, is not detecting the battery, and that might that that right there is a phone issue, uh, and I would have to fix that. Uh, I'd actually have to go into the phone and fix that, or take it apart and fix it. Yeah. Next up is this LG Treasure. Um, this phone partially works. The power button is broken on this thing, but yeah, it does work. I showed you in the last video, so yeah. Next up is this Galaxy S3. I got this one in the phone lot along with this one. Uh, so, yeah, it's a Sprint Galaxy S3 purple. I really like the color in this thing, and it works perfectly, despite the cracks. In my last video, I said I was on the crack because I was my finger was on the crack. I'm not actually on the crack. If I were on the crack, yeah, I'd be... Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> this is a Blue View 2. Uh, this phone works perfectly. Um, I got this one for uh, as a replacement for my old one because that thing just shit the bed. So I just got myself another one and it works fine. Next up is this LG G3. I got this one from the Target bin back in 2018 and this phone works perfectly fine. Uh, it came with this OtterBox case too. Um, all the phones that are here came with their case. Or for their, uh, if they have a case, they came with it. I didn't buy it or anything like that. Love how it says to power off my device. Um, this is an Alcatel One Touch Fierce. This unfortunately does not work anymore. It has a bad battery, which really sucks because this thing back in 2017, I got this from the Target bin, and it really took off my old YouTube channel. Along with the G3, th those two were like the, I guess, quote, dynamic duo. Those two really started my old YouTube channel. And this thing is going to die again. Next up is this ZTE Zinger. I got this one from the Target bin back in 2018. No, 2017, and this thing works perfectly. This thing holds a charge for a while, as long as well as the ZTE Roll 2. I haven't had to really charge them that much. Next up is this Samsung Galaxy S10. This phone fully works. It's on Verizon. Um, I got another one, to, uh, another one that had a bad battery, and I replaced the screen from that one into this one, and this one fully works, and it's a good, it's a good phone too, even for its age, it's really it still holds up really well. 
This is my Moto G 5G. This used to be my old main phone back in March. And like I said, this phone does work. <laughs> uh, it still works fine. It's on Android 13 now. So yeah. Next up, I have two Galaxy S9s. This one is in black and is factory unlocked. And this one is in purple and is uh, locked to T-Mobile. I've got this one from the lot. Um, or the $200 lot that, um, Justin gave me. And I got this one for my mom back in 2020. This one I got for my friend Sky. This is a Galaxy Z Flip, and I'm very happy to have this in my collection because the Z Flips are really cool. Yeah, this thing is, uh, T-Mobile unlocked, or it's unlocked, but, yeah. Next up is this. This is a Moto E4. I got this one in the Target bin in 2018. Or not 2018, uh, 2020. This phone fully works. I'm sorry about the really crappy camera quality, but yeah. This is my Realme GT Neo 3. Uh, this fully works fine. Uh, I've been using this as my secondary since the day I got it, because it is just so good. Uh, unfortunately, I checked and everything about the whole AT&T carrier thing. This thing will only work on T-Mobile, so if I wanted it to work, I'd have to switch it on to T-Mobile. So yeah, let me unlock all the devices, because th that'll be cool. Uh, this is gonna take a little bit. This thing dead. Yeah, it died. Shit. Okay. Okay, over here. Yeah, I think it died. Or either that or it's lagging, I don't know. Oh, jeez, I'm stepping on phones. Anyway. Uh, did this thing- oh no, I'm just not pressing the power button. And also, this is not the password I use, so... Uh... So many notifications, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, this thing's... Oops, my, cam my camera got cut off once again. So that is fantastic. All right. Okay, I'm literally uh, bending down right now. This is rough. I'm also gonna get a different wallpaper for those two. Why is this thing on TikTok, dude? Okay, I don't have TikTok. I just keep getting ads for it. I think this thing is dead. Okay. Okay, um, uh, okay, next is, wait, that's the red me. This, no, I'm sorry, guys, this is really rough. And it, it is what you get for turning, trying to turn on at least over 60 devices at once. This thing dead. Nope, no, this thing's not dead. I know that Galaxy Stellar's dead. Okay. No. I am so freaking tired right now, dude. You don't even know. No. Okay. Next phone. Final install now. Okay, um, where's the power button? This thing die? Yeah, it died. 
Okay. Okay. Am I S5 too? Great. Uh, they're both on TikTok. Let me just go over here. Um, S3. They're all on, holy crap. Holy crap, Nanoda. Okay, let me try to try to get some of these on again. I really need to Lightning round. Ow, my legs, dude. Anyway. Let me try to okay. I don't think this is gonna work. Anyway. Ugh, this is a bundle of the devices on. This is not all of them on. I need to uh set up uh, ten minutes. At least, or the max capacity amount of minutes for all the phones and devices here. So, yeah, these are all my smartphones. Now let me do the grievous task of shutting them all off and putting them away, and I'll show you all my dumb phones. Okay, now that I am in a much better state of mind, I guess, I don't know. Here are all my dumb phones. I have about 38 of them. It's much, much less than the amount of smartphones I have, but I still have a good amount. I want some more, so... Oh, Jesus. Anyway, without dropping my camera, let's go for the dumb phones. First, we have not one, not two, but three Nokia 52... or uh, 5120s, I believe. Let me ch let me double-check that. Um, let me get this out. 5190, my bad. Um, these are the oldest phones in my collection, uh, and they all don't work. <laughs> Which really sucks, because I would love to have some old working Nokias in my collection. Next up is this Cow Sierra K433L. Oh, and by the way, I got these three from the same seller who got me the Better Call Saul phone. This one I got from the Target bin in 2017. This thing still does not work, and I even got a charger for this thing, and it does nothing. So this thing is dead. Next up is this Nokia, I want to say 2260, but I'm not sure, so I will, um, if I can, there we go, get this battery out, and it is a 2270, my bad. It doesn't work, I have a charger for it, and it just does nothing, so this battery, either that, or the, it's the battery, or the phone, and finding a battery for this thing is going to be really tough, so, yeah. Next up is this Pantech Link. I've had this since like 2017 or 2018, and I still have not gotten this thing working. And I don't have a charger for this thing at all, and I need to get a charger for this thing. So, yeah. Next up is this Motorola C139. I got this one from the Target bin in 2017, and this thing does not work. I tried a charger. I think I got myself a new battery for this thing too, and it doesn't work. So... Yeah, it's really unfortunate. It'd be cool, because back in 2004, these things were the cheapest GSM phone in the world, so really neat device in my collection. Another one is this Samsung Juke. This thing boot loops on the charger, and that's all it does. I've had this thing since 2017. This is one of the first devices in my collection as well, and yeah, kind of sucks. Next up is this Samsung Helio Heat. Um, I did get myself a charger for this thing, but this thing also boot loops on the charger, so it's definitely, these two definitely have battery issues, and I'm gonna need to get new ones, but I don't know how rare they are, so. Next up is the Better Call cell phone, or the Samsung SPH N400. 
This thing is a bad battery and only works on the charger, but I've showed it working before and you know it does work. This thing also came with cool games like Monkey Ball and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, ironically, last in the top row and last in the non-working devices, we have this LG VX8350. This thing is a bad battery, but it does work on the charger like the Samsung, or like the Better Call Saul phone. So, yeah, I got this one from the Target back in 2018. Or not 2018. Why am I saying 2018? 2023. This one I got in 2018. Okay, maybe I'm not in the best state of mind again. <laughs> First up in the actual working ones is this Motorola T720C. I got this one in the Target bin back in 2018, and it fully uh, it has a passcode, which is probably never going to be solved. Next up is this Pantech Breeze 4. This phone does work. Uh, I think I got this in the Target bin back in 2018. Uh, not 2018. Why am I saying 2018? 2023. Next up is this Samsung Rugby 3. This thing... Okay. Last collection video, it did not turn on or show any sign of life. This time it is turning on, and I can show you that it somewhat works at least. This is a Samsung... Okay, actually, why did I turn it on if I was going to show the model number? This is a Samsung... SGH-T401G. I can never remember the name of this one. Oh yeah, but the Rugby 3 is now very loud. And I'm trying to get this back cover. Hold on a minute. Well, that took me like a full two minutes to put that back on. That was not great. Anyway, next up is this Alcatel Big Easy. I actually have two of them. However, the other one over there has a number on the back, so I'm not going to show that. And also, the quality right now is really bad. Um, next up is this LG B500G. I remember the model number, actually. This phone does work, and I got this one from my mom's boyfriend back in 2018. These two, I think I got in a lot in 2018, and this one I got from my mom's boyfriend. I also got this one from my mom's boyfriend. This is a Samsung Gusto 2. If I can open it, that'd be great. This phone works perfectly fine. There's no issues. Next up, I have two LG VX 8300s, and they both work. Um, so yeah, I have a lot less working phone, a lot less non-working phones this time around. I feel, I feel, or I have a good, I have a good amount less. So yeah, these two fully work. Next up is a Samsung SPH A107. This phone also works, and the reason why it was so quiet is because it doesn't have any sound profiles on this thing. And since... And now that thing is pretty loud, because I put it to outdoor mode. This is an LG Envy 3. I got these I got these two from the same target bin, I think. Yeah, no, I didn't. I got this one in 2018, and I got this one in 2017, and this one works fine. I got this one in 2020. This is an LG Talk Chocolate 2. This phone does work fine as well. The most recent dumb phone that I have in my collection is this Samsung Intensity 2. I got this one from the Staples bin, and this phone works perfectly. I said it had an iffy battery, but that's probably because it hadn't been turned on in, like, what? I don't know how long. Next up is the ZTE Z432. This phone also works perfectly. I got this one from the Target bin in a bag in 2017. This one was my first ever Target bin find. This is an Alcatel One Touch Spark 2, and this thing fully works. Um, I did get a battery for this thing, like I showed earlier, or earlier in the year, and it fully works. Next up is this LG VX4650, and this phone fully works as well. This thing, I got, I got chargers for all three of them, and they all, and all, or all, all three of them, and all three of those work. Next up is this LG Octane. This thing obviously works as well. I got this one from Target Bin in 2023. I got these five from the Target Bin in 2023. And the last row here, ironically enough, is the, well, um, Java phones, I guess. And also, that thing's actually holding a charge. Nice. This is a BlackBerry, uh, Blackberry uh, Curve 8330. This phone used to be my grandfather's with the, uh, yeah, with this wallpaper. I, I, unironically enough, my Nana still has the same wallpaper on her iPhone 12, which is really cool. This, I have two BlackBerry Curve 8300s. This is an 8330, this is an 8300. Um, they both work. Um, this one just has the battery. This battery, or the battery from this one is in this one. This one fully works. I have two Samsung Brightsides. These two were the first ever phones in my collection, and I got them both in 2016. So, yeah, these both fully work fine. This is a Huawei M750. 
and it's on Metro PCS, and I got this one in 2023, and it fully works. This is a Blackberry Bold 9500, or 9600, and this phone I got in 2020? The target bin? I can't remember, but I know they both full I know this one fully works. This is a ZTE symbol. Uh this phone also fully works. I got this one from my mom's boyfriend in 2020. And last but not least for the dumb phones, we or not dumb phones, basic phones. This is an Alcatel My Flip 2. And it I got this one for the target bin in 2018. Let me unlock all the um okay. Uh, all the dumb phones. Uh, the Rugby 2, I think, died. Or Rugby 3 died. No, 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 no. Low battery. And yeah. These are all my dumb phones. Um... I know, it seemed like I was rushing this time around. I just really wanted to get this thing done, and I realized that October is the six-month anniversary of my phone... Or not the six-month anniversary of my phone collection. The seven-year anniversary of my phone collection. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to do this every six months. Or this phone collection style of video every six months. And that day was fast approaching, so I decided, you know what? I'll just do it now. And clearly I rushed. This is definitely not the best video I could have produced if I had, if I was in a better state of mind, I would have been so much better off. But yeah, this is my in, this was my entire phone collection. I have over a hundred and thirty phones now, which is far more than I thought I would than I thought I had. Um, I thought I had like maybe a hundred, but yeah, that's gonna be all for for me. And I'll see you in the next phone collection update, hopefully in either late March or early April. It's phony. And I'll see you later. Oh, but one more thing. One thing that has completely evaded my vision. Fumo Yomu. She likes the phones. Her, uh, by the way, uh, Fumo Yomu's favorite phone is this one. Honestly, it's not a surprise. But anyway, for real this time. It's phony, and I'll see you guys later.